techniques. So now we have Dr. Agni Parekh. Uh, we got the hall slightly late, so we'll finish this presentation fast. Uh, so these are some situations which are different in SICS than in a routine case. So this is a very small pupil, an older individual with a sclerosed pupil and you see so many of the patients who have these small pupils uh, and it is, you may get scared to do FACO because you might be scared of iris chafing. So as usual, this is a modified funnel incision uh, with the crescent that is the making of the tunnel into the mid sclera and then going into the cornea so which gives you a self sealing corneal valve which is very important the making of the pockets as you can see over here and then the entry inside the eye uh, the rexis is done in the visible area of the pupil so that uh, you know if you try to go underneath it you may not see and your flap may disappear so making the rexis in the visible area this staining with dye would have been made this even easier but a good microscope uh, can help you make and complete a rexis even in this situation as you can see over here this is the blumenthal technique and this is dr lane sir's video where he does it under he, he uses no viscoelastic this is mobilizing the nucleus and bringing it anteriorly so once the nucleus edge is seen and it is anterior then it is very easy so rotating it and bring it out of the pupil so that you are not doing any manipulations under the pupil this is a glide which is used to remove the nucleus uh, and then uh, it by the pressure and the counter pressure method now dipping the sclera slightly also helps to remove the epinucleus with the help of the single port aspiration cannula and the AC maintainer, the complete cortical removal can be done. And then IOL can be put inside the bag. Uh, after this, the next slide will be... This was a small pupil which we have already seen. I think we'll... This is the brown cataract SICS. I get very scared to do brown cataract phaco emulsifications because uh, the, the nuclei are very, very thick and the sharp pieces of the nuclei can cause a PC tear. And it's very comfortable to do an SICS in these type of patients. As you can see, making the tunnel, which is very, very important part, uh, dissecting the tunnel and going in, uh, so which is extremely important as you can see these are the pockets which are being formed now the pockets will help you again and again to make the incision smaller and the internal incision bigger making of the rexes is important and you can also do it with a can opener you can see the nucleus is very very large and very very brown but it can be removed through a reasonably sized incision the incision even here is not more than six millimeters because of the pockets and it does not require suturing uh, and it does not cause too much of astigmatism so this is a safe technique as you can see a large brown nucleus can be and it is occupying most of the anterior chamber you can see the color of the nucleus it is so hard brown but it can be removed very safely without compromising the endothelium without too much of time being wasted and the IOL can be put inside the bag so this is a very very good technique uh, to do a safe surgery for a patient because you may want to say that you will get uh, uh, you'll do phaco emulsification and all that but what about the endothelium So this is a black cataract now. You do get patients with cataract and nigra because patients are old, they are unwilling to come and they still wait for a long time. So here the incision size will always be uh, according to the grade of the nucleus. The, nu the incision here cannot be 4 millimeters because if you try to do that, then there will be complications, there will be iridodialysis, there will be iris prolapse. So definitely the nuclear size is larger, the new incision will be large, but most of the patients we have not required any suturing if the tunnel is 
done properly and the pockets you can see the pockets are really really deep in this patient because the nucleus is going to be hard and it is not going to be molding itself so that it requires assistance and a proper incision size to remove it as you can see over here it's a proper cataract nigra and i would 100 percent not do a phaco emulsification in these type of patients and i have never done it so if you can see this nucleus and patients do come late this is a video so nothing can be faked over here and the patient is be able to see a little bit for near so they wait for a long time before coming and it is so safely being removed and the iol is being placed this patient has got a lease of lice by seeing again after so many years so this is a very safe uh, and a reproducible technique can be done by anybody and even this incision does not require any sort of suturing. Hypermature cataract uh, Blumenthal technique, as you can see over here, uh, we've seen this, I think this video we have already seen the envelope technique. So basically SICS is very, very easy to learn, to practice and to master. It is reproducible. There's no difficult situation in SICS and it's a wonderful weapon in your armamentarium. We are essentially FACO surgeons when we were in the medical college and we were 100% SICS surgeons when we were at a camp. So both techniques can be used for the betterment of the patients. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, uh, yeah, everybody stayed here. Uh, for this lunch also. Thank you, the uh, Kamalji Singh, sir. Thank you, uh, Ruchi. Thank you, Ragini. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pantis.